Hey, we're here with Jimbo Thomas from the Casa BDL Lodge Southeast region on our show. And he's gonna show us a little bit about doing a haywire twist because there's several little tricks when you're doing a haywire that you have to do or it's gonna come out right. Correct? That's right. right. And show us how you do it, buddy. We're all right, so we're, we're talking wire. about kingfish, so we got number five wire. Right. You can buy pre-straight wire, which is really nice because it doesn't hold any coils. And it's nice and straight. Or <laughs> you can get a coil, but mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's gonna be straight still, but this is already, you can buy them whatever length you want, so you don't have to worry about cutting them. Right. So we're gonna go fishing for kingfish. So we've got a number two kingfish treble hook here, and we're gonna tie our- It's usually a double X hook. Yeah, kingfish hook is a double X, and they are super sharp too. Yes, they have to be, because so, kingfish's mouth is not a place where anything finds a purchase very easily. No. So you can use a treble hook, mm -hmm. you can use a circle hook, you can use a J hook. So you, whatever hook you want to use, you're going to tie the same haywire twist on Correct. it regardless. So you stick your wire through the eye of the hook, bend it over, and you just twist it. And you don't want to do a wrap, they want to be intertwined. And you only need to do about five wraps. I see some people wrap them way up, you know, two or three inches. Yep. You don't have to do it that need long. To do five or so. And then do your barrel wrap, which finishes it off. Behind it. Behind it. And now you don't use your pliers to cut this because you're going to have a hole in your fingers. <laughs> You'll leave a tag done. that'll put a so hole in you. You bend it and you roll it around. If I can do this, I'll hook myself. You roll it around and it breaks off Even clean. flush. And that way you have nothing to snag your fingers on. Beauty. Now we can do this. Uh, yeah, let's use the rope part of there so we can show them exactly what you mean by going. The haywire twist by, versus just rolling it on exactly. top of it. So, you know, rolling it on top would be like this. So one wire would be straight and the other one would be wrapped it's around wrapping it. wrapping around you it don't instead want of that twisting them together. Because it's gonna slide down right. and it and will kink and break. Although my brother, he does it all that. He never breaks them off. It pisses well, me off. Well, you know, the one time when you have a really good fish on it and it happens, yeah. then you wish you had done it right. I know. So what you want to do is... Make sure that they twist, twist together. Twist so they intertwine... Around each other. Around each other. Intertwine each other. Beautiful. And then the barrel wrap would be just one around it at the end. Three or four wraps to finish it off. And that's when you bend this and you break it off beautiful so we can do it a, a little slower yeah, do it if with you a like single hook real quick all right we got a circle hook you go call circle hook here so we're gonna stick our wire through and you want to leave enough out there so you got something to work always with. leave yourself a nice long tag right because if you if you're fighting it it's not gonna come out right right so bend it over and I mean, I've done this a few times, so I don't know if I make it look easier than most you do, or you not. Do. You know, you got to pinch it real good you right at the- pinch it, and so you get your first wrap. That's the most important one. And then you continue that same wrap. You do, I do like six of them, say. Yeah, I usually do That's five That's two, or six. three, four, five, six. So that's our bend haywire. Your straight up and down. Then bend this and do our barrel. Wrap so right do about four or five. One, two, three, four, five. So we got our barrel wrap, our haywire, and again, and break it off. We're gonna bend it. You roll it around the, itself, pretty much breaks it off. You clean. got a nice clean piece. Otherwise, you're gonna snag your fingers yeah. and be bleeding and cussing the whole time. Beautiful, pretty work, man. That's how you do it. That's how you catch a kingfish and tie a haywire twist.